not just play one piece, not just play something which、uh, is always the same thing, you know. Because、uh, piano is a part of art, and this art creation involves with so many different feelings, structures, and ideas, and、uh, the atmosphere. I mean uh, the. Uh, Uh, the knowledge. So when you play, it's like、uh, actually experiencing experiencing life. Started、uh, playing piano when I was two years old.、Uh, the main reason. For me, is that、um, I was growing up in a musical family. My father was pl- not playing the piano, but he plays Chinese instrument,、uh, two-string instrument called arhu. And、uh, but the environment,、uh, the place when I grew up, every family have a piano in their apartment. That when I was nine years old,、uh, my father and I,、uh, <clears throat> he quit his job. In my hometown, to be with me、uh, to Beijing, so we went to the Central Conservatory of Music. So I studied there, and so my mother n- need to stay home to earning the income to supporting us. So that was,、uh, um, yeah, that was pretty sad. But、um, now it's okay. I think it's been many years ago. The piano need to played by you, then your personality is shows in the piano later. Uh, and it's so true because if you,、uh, in the same time, in the same piano, totally different two two totally different pianos play it on, after one year it turned to a very different sound. I mean, I'm sure because it's, it's good good piano is like a light, you know, it's with, with the, it's an instrument or machine with the, all kinds of feelings, and once you start, to To be with your instrument, and it becomes more closer to you. And so, the more love you you put into the piano, you get more. That's what I I feel. The, this this piano is belongs to the great maestro, great master、uh, Vladimir Horowitz.、Um, maybe not belongs to him, but he played it on this piano is C D seventy five for quite a long time. He includes some very Uh, historic, um, uh, uh, include some of the very important、uh, recitals he ever made in in his career, like Horowitz's life in London and Horowitz. I mean Horowitz in London and Horowitz in the Metropolitan Opera House. So he used this piano, and、uh, obviously when this there's one very famous encore, he always play it's. <laughs> Sound right away. I mean, that's the sound. When you listen to the CD and when when you hear on radio, on whatever, it's that kind of big and explosive sound out from this、uh, very very. Um, big temper、uh, piano. This piano is sometimes if it gets really,、uh, um, if it gets really angry, it have such big sound. If you try this, you already hear it's very different. <laughs> it bring me back the memory of Horowitz. Even I never heard him he live concert, but when I heard this sound. It brings me the feeling and bring the cl- the recordings or the DVDs much more closer than because now I'm actually play his instrument. You know, it's just really and then it's especially when I play this. Of course, this is one of Horace's very specialties. For me, my mission is to、uh, inspiring more young people to come to the classical music world, and to be part of us, and to follow 
the classical music's future. So that's why I think uh, what is uh, the future of classical music all about. And also, as a Chinese, I like to bring more um, kind of the, the culture, which is uh, basically my roots, Chinese culture, to bring to the world stage and to, to, to show a little bit more about, because it's also part of classical uh, culture. Um, so I believe we have a very, very brilliant future. But we need to work hard. It's not, it, it's not coming if you just practice for yourself. Just play for yourself. You need to really share what you feel. You need to bring what's your idea in your mind out. 